Just a quick one, guys, before we get into today's video, we're currently doing £5 off all our Liverpool t-shirts. We have got brand new designs, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or going to copiteclothing.com. Anyway, let's get into today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys. Before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Okay, so we've got a few bits and pieces to go through with you in today's video. That includes, of course, the massive Mo Salah news. We're going to be going through some news on Calvin Ramsey and Kelleher as two potential destinations for them to play their football next season have emerged. And then we're also going to be going over Steven Gerrard as he's had an offer from a shock club uh, for his next managerial destination whilst going through a few other bits and pieces. So do stay tuned for the whole video. But starting with Calvin Ramsey. Look, this morning I came to you and said that Calvin Ramsey um, was subject to interest from a championship club. However, at the time of the, uh, at the time of recording back then, it was unnamed. However, the, ha the team has emerged and that is being reported as Preston North End and they are hoping to take the young Scotsman on loan next season and Liverpool are supposedly considering a deal at the time of recording. Look, the transfer is made more likely by the fact the two clubs currently have a good relationship. Look, a few players we've seen over the years that have gone out on loan at, at Preston and excelled and done really, really well. Um, so yeah, they've kind of can, can be able to continue this partnership and as I say, Preston are trying to get the young Scotsman to the the championship for next season. Look, Ramsey's had sort of setback after setback uh, since he arrived last summer. Of course, it's been unfair just because of all the injuries that he's had. However, he wasn't a player that was brought in to be um, a player for the here and now. He was more for one for the future, uh, being in around the first team, play some under 21 games and all the rest of it. However, at the start of the year, he did have a season-ending injury and has been on the sidelines ever since and isn't due back till the summer at some point. Apparently he has started light training again, but um, as I said, it's probably a little while until he'll be involved. But at the time of recording, Preston North End want to take the young Scotsman out on loan next season. Now going on to the massive Mo Salah news, guys. For the second time in two years, Liverpool will feel the brunt of a mid-season tournament with the African Cup of Nations confirmed to take place during the domestic campaign. However, 2022, there was three players on the book at Liverpool that obviously missed part of the season, that being Mo Salah, Sadio Mane, Naby Keita, and we did feel the brunt of it, mainly from Mo Salah. He went away to that tournament, he started the year that season unbelievably well, went to that tournament, it seemed like he was knackered, came back, and he didn't really do anything, did he, if we're being perfectly honest. Um, however, Liverpool obviously went on to have a decent season, but we did feel the brunt of Mo Salah's the amount of games that he was playing. And we're probably going to be getting that again. Well, we are going to be getting that again this season uh, if Mo Salah, of course, is fit. He's going to be representing Egypt. And as I said, this is going to be at, at the Ivory Coast after the competition dates have been confirmed. January 13th, it starts uh, moving on to February 11th. So yeah, Liverpool are going to be without Mo Salah for one month. And they got to the final last time so it's likely that he'll be out for the whole duration of the African Cup of Nations because uh, Egypt are expected to go far. Um, it's annoying, of course, because um, I, I feel like the club plays the players' wage, pays the players' wages, he's paid the fee for the player, and just because he's got this international tournament slap bang in the middle of the season, um, Liverpool uh, are basically paying him to be there but can't use him for a month so it is a bit it is a big blow let's be perfectly honest as I said last time this time two years ago or 2022 sorry we did feel the brunt of it Mo Salah's performance levels did drop massively after that tournament and of course with the out Sadio Mane but the, the good thing I suppose it's only one player missing uh, this time around so yeah that's the massive Mo Salah news Liverpool will be out with Mohamed Salah at the start of 2024 which is a big blow going into next season so yeah that is the uh, the Mo Salah news uh, going on to Steven Gerrard of course of course, Steven Gerrard, we, we touched upon this morning, was subject of interest from an unnamed Saudi Arabian club. However, that club's name has emerged and Steven Gerrard is considering taking up the job. Look, he has been out of work since being sacked by Aston Villa. Prior to that, he had a great 
uh, run cutting his teeth into management with Glasgow Rangers where he ended Celtic's pursuit for 10 in a row and won Rangers their 55th league title um, and as I said after that it kind of went downhill and he's been looking for a way into management he's had a few options and a few um, offers on the table however hasn't taken them but this one is said quote unquote he's welcoming the idea but has asked for the time to study the offer this team is called Saudi Club Al, sorry for pronunciation, any Saudi Arabian uh, fans watching this, Al Etifak, and they finished seventh last year in the Saudi Super League. Um, a lot of money being pumped within the division. Gerard might have his head turned ever so slightly at one, the big payday that would be coming his way. But of course, a good, a good, a good chance to get himself back into management again um, at Saudi, in the Saudi League. But if I'm looking at Steven Gerrard, I don't think he should be going to Saudi Arabia if he really wants to become the Liverpool manager one day. I don't think he will become the Liverpool manager one day, but I don't think going to Saudi Arabia is the is the, the is going to be the next step on the ladder. If I was him, I'd probably be looking at the Leeds United job, go down into the Championship, try and get them up, and then try and build upon them because they're a decent sized club. That's what I would probably do with Steven Gerrard. But as I said, if he wants the bag, he wants the bag. Go out to Saudi Arabia, and they're pumping a lot of money in that division, so it could be a decent league. Um, in, a, in a number of years' time. It does feel a little bit different from the Chinese Super League model. It looks like they're not going to be stopping until they get the way, the Saudis. So, yeah, very, very interesting stuff there. Oh, crap. I was actually meant to go over Kelleher straight after Ramsey as a as, as the outgoing. Look, Kelleher has been well documented over the last um, couple of weeks slash months that he is looking for a new challenge. We've seen the Republic of Ireland manager come out a number of times stating that um, he's probably going to be moving on this summer, despite Jurgen Klopp saying the opposite, saying, no, no, Kelleher is going to be staying at the club and it would take a massive offer for him to, to, to go. However, there has been a few teams emerging that are trying to bide for a signature with the recent one being Nottingham Forest. Look, Nottingham Forest is another interesting one. They had Dean Henderson out on loan at Nottingham Forest last season from Manchester United. He's obviously returned back to Old Trafford and I think they like to use the loan system. So this could actually benefit Liverpool very, very well. If Nottingham Forest are not really looking for a long-term number one and want a goalkeeper out on loan again, this could be a very, very interesting and exciting one for Liverpool to try and pursue. Maybe Kelleher can go out on, on a season-long loan in Nottingham Forest and then return back to Liverpool. But I think he just wants game time. He's not going to be the number one goalkeeper whilst Alisson Becker's about, but Liverpool do see him as a, as a future. So maybe they might look for the buyback option on, 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 on him as a, as a as a sale. Um, but yeah, that would be remain to be seen. Uh, but Liverpool fans, that's all I've got for you today. Do you think uh, sending Kelleher and Ramsey out on loan is a good idea? And let me know your thoughts on Mo Salah that is going to be missing for the start of 2024. Is that going to affect Liverpool season? As I said, let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Remember, we have got Liverpool t-shirts available on our website, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or going to copyclothing.com. Remember, we do have brand new designs and we're doing £5 off all t-shirts. So do browse the collection while the sale is still on and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.